What's up, what's up everyone? I'm sorry I've been missing for a while and I haven't posted any videos in about a week now. And I've been meaning to do this for a very long time now. I've wanted to demo The Witcher 2 as you can see here and based on the name of the video, of course. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry that I haven't had too many demos recently. We're going to have more soon, hopefully. And uh, hopefully I'll get you guys more content because I've been really busy lately and I apologize for that. So first things first, when we open up Steam, because this is a Steam game, you're going to click play and it's going to launch this little launcher here in front. And this launcher is going to give you a bunch of options. And right now we're in the advanced graphics settings. We're just going to go back quickly here and show you guys the basic settings that it opens for you. Um, so by default, when I open this the first, the very first time, the program decided that my computer should run this on ultra settings. I personally disagree and I like to mess with those settings myself because I don't know, they, they tend to just think that you have this perfect setup here and it's kind of just like a generalization. So I wanted to customize that a little bit for myself just to make sure that it was running at max capabilities without really slowing anything down or something like that. So we're going to hit on advanced options. We're going to click on advanced options. I'm sorry. And, uh, there's a ton of options here, but there aren't a lot of options for customizability. There's basically only just enable and disable. Uh, the only two exceptions are the shadow quality and the number of shadowed lights. Now for that, we're going to keep on ultra. You can put it on high. I don't notice a huge difference between ultra and high, and especially the frame rates only drop maybe two or three frames per second when you go from ultra to high on the shadows. But ultra, the shadows look really great, and I definitely recommend keeping those shadows on. Everything else, though, is enable or disable, and that kind of annoys me a little bit, especially with the anti-aliasing, anti because most other games, you have a bunch of options for anti-aliasing, and usually, like, you know, if you see my other videos, I like to bring that anti-aliasing a little bit down so that it looks a little bit, you know, it looks good, but... It has really good frame rates. Um, another thing that we're actually going to uh, enable, actually, is the dangling objects limit. Now, dangling objects basically is kind of just the physics for Geralt's hair and a few other things that are dangling, I guess. Um, uh, no pun intended, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, so dangling objects limit. You actually want to enable that so there's not as much physics on it. And in Uber sampling, we it says it's for high performance machines only. Um, so Uber sampling, we kind of just want that off for now. You can put it on, but you're only going to get about 20 frames per second. This graphics card is clearly not enough to handle something as powerful and as specific as what they say is high end machines only. That's the morning. So we're going to turn that off. Now, it's interesting when you look at this uh, this game here because the graphics, if you can see it in the top left corner, the graphics on this, I think, use a lot of CPU. So that's why the recording program that I'm using is actually showing probably 10 to 15 frames lower than what the game is actually running at. So when I'm not recording, this is one of those games that I wasn't sure about because... I was wondering why the graphics dropped so much, and I think it's using very system intensive. It uses a lot of different parts of the system in order to run this game, and it's probably using whatever the recording program is using as well, which most games, I guess, do not. So that's why it actually drops 10 to 15, I would say 10 to 12 for the most part when you're watching this, about 10 to 12 frames lower than the actual frame rate when you're playing without recording. So if you're looking at the frames per second right now, it looks pretty smooth anyway, because you're still running at above 30. But I promise you, if you guys are getting the game, you don't worry about it. This game runs 10 to 12 frames faster than what you see here. Uh, so if you're walking around in this area, you're probably getting around, actually even more, you're probably getting around 48 to 50 frames per second here while you're walking around this and there's a lot going on here the reason why i'm going to spend so much time on this part here is because there's so much happening right here there's so many textures there are a lot of textures and there's a lot of shadows and there's a lot of bits and details that are all dynamic they're all 
dynamic. They're all moving. They're all interacting with the rest of the game. It's pretty impressive. So I just, this is the slowdown thing. Uh, and we're going to have another conversation later on with the king as well. And I, that's where I want to show you guys the depth of field. I really love the depth of field blur in this game. Some people don't like it because they're, you know, they're wondering why they should use graphics power and their whole system just to blur things in the background to make it look crappier. I don't think it looks crappier. I think in real life, I mean, yes, you can see the background and stuff, but it is does have a depth of field feeling to it. And uh, I think it's definitely worth it to have on. It really makes the details of the characters who are talking very crisp and clear. Here, also, I want to show you guys the smoke and fire. We're going to see a little bit more of that later on as well. But the smoke and fire in this game is so good looking. It's so, so good looking. The textures on all the character models, uh, especially including Geralt himself and, and the other characters, they're fantastic. The, the, the textures and the tessellation and all that other stuff, especially when you see the up-close uh, videos of them talking, that's in-game footage. That's not just a preset video. That's in-game footage and those shadows and everything are acting dynamically and those little textures the little pores that you see even on their faces is really impressive when you see the video so here when we're walking into here it's probably about 48 but once you get into the middle of the crowd here with all these other people when you get into there it's actually about 55 i've even gotten up to 58 in the middle of this crowd and sometimes even 60. Okay, so V-Sync is on, so it's not going to get higher than 60, because, you know, I like to keep V-Sync on. But in this area right now, you're probably looking at 55, 58. So that's why I'm telling you guys right now here, because actually, I don't know why, but the recording program drops 10 to 15 frames per second when I'm recording. And this is the first game that's really done that for me. And I know you guys have had suggestions about shadow play and... Uh, other reporting programs i mean fraps is definitely a killer it's probably worse than this when we're talking about recording but shadow play you guys said doesn't take much i haven't used shadow play actually uh but i heard it's pretty good and i'm just used to using this program because i've got all my settings set up here and i just i just like using it and this is really the first game that has really taken off that much usually my games take off two or three when i'm recording which is fine and uh it, it looks fine still, you know, all the other games. This game still somehow looks fine. I guess I am moving pretty slowly, but as you'll see in the later parts, uh, when I'm battling and I'm fighting people, it still looks good even at the frames that it's displaying per second. I'm not even sure why it does that, but it still looks very good. And I promise you guys, it does get around, I would say if I'm playing the game, it gets around 48 Finally. frames per second average so low it's definitely it drops down sometimes a frame clips in and out which is kind of weird i think it's just because it's loading on my hard drive i'm using my hard disk drive instead of my solid state that could be part of it i mean it is a 7200 rpm and it, that's the one that comes with msi gs60 pro <clears throat> excuse me but um it looks fantastic I gotta say, and it looks super smooth, even with the fast-paced gameplay. I mean, you know there's a lot of magic, and there's a lot of uh, projectiles, and there's a lot of sword fighting, a lot of movement. A lot of the characters are, there's a lot of people moving around too, there's a lot of soldiers and stuff. So it does eat up frames, there's a high demand for graphics for this game. I had no idea your grace was a learned military engineer. I'm not. I gave the Baroness... As you can see, the detail on the king here, really great. Looks awesome. Sire. What say you, Excellency, of men who live... And what say you, your grace, of soldiers who inflict them? Those who did this live no more. Okay, so here, we're actually getting into the fight, getting into the thick of battle. As you can see, all these guys are moving here. There's a lot of activity going on, and there's a lot of smoke effects and dust effects and things going on in the background. Everything is happening at once. This is not a preset video here, guys. There's a lot happening. And I gotta say, when you're in the fight scenes, it's still about 45 
to 48 frames per second. And then actually, when uh, when we're going to the tower and we see the uh, the fighting up inside the tower, when it's close up, gets about 55 to 60. It really does. 55, 58. That's what I saw mostly when I was up in the tower. First things first, we're going to go down. I'm going to spare you guys the video time here by just skipping over it. Here we're probably getting around 45 to 50 frames per second. Again, as generalization, when you're watching the frames per second, definitely keep an eye on it and add 10 to 12 at least for the amount of frames that it's actually running. I completely miss those guys, but it does show off a good amount of those effects that I was talking about with this firing. As you can see, I think the gameplay looks really smooth. I love the motion blur on this, or in the, uh, in the depth of field blur. I think it looks awesome. Here I'm going to show you guys some of the magic effects here. Uh, I know it's not really a big deal, but it does have, you know, cool shadowing and, and lighting for each of the different types of magic, which I think are pretty cool and definitely shows off the graphics capability of this while still moving at a pretty decent frame rate. Now I've tried this game because, you know, for me, if you've seen my last videos, I do turn off the anti-aliasing sometime to drop it really low. I did try to drop the anti-aliasing to, I mean, I tried to disable it actually, and it looks pretty bad without the anti-aliasing. There are a lot of rough edges, so I'm not sure what anti-aliasing it is. I have to look that up, but it does have pretty rough, jagged edges when you're not using, using anti-aliasing, so I definitely suggest you guys to turn that on. So if you guys want to jump back to the beginning of the video and just pause it at those settings, those are definitely the settings that I recommend. You can drop it down to high for the shadow quality and that'll give you two or three more frames. But otherwise, it looks pretty good the way it is right here. Uh, for example, here, I was fighting at about 55 frames per second up here. And that's pretty good. When I'm overlooking the edge, it does drop to the high 40s. But when I'm more into the uh, rock area, it does. it's about 55 frames per second. So we're just going to pan over the top part here and remember to uh, just check out the rest of my videos and leave a like, leave a comment, leave a dislike, whatever you guys want to do. I want to hear feedback from you guys. I really appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Let me know what you guys want to see or hear. All right. Peace out.